Guys, as you know, September to November is our reggae time. If the conditions are right, we have our three days of northeastly, the water goes cold and the reggae's come, whether it be from Tonska all the way through to Vidal, Mapalan, that area. So today, I'm just gonna show you how to do a mackerel head with cutlet baits using the Dacron braid as your trace basically. And the reason we use that is it allows your hook to turn a lot easier. There are diamonds, there are honeycombs around as well. So this would be an all round rigging and baiting purpose for all of those fish. Mainly raggies, that's our target species with this one. Okay, so we've got Dacron about six to seven inches long with a little loop on it. We've got our mackerel, our, our trusty old knife, cotton, and bait needle. First thing that we're gonna do is cut the actual bait. Now what we're gonna do here is just behind the gills or the actual fins over there, we're gonna cut it down. So first things, and we're cutting at an angle into the stomach. Okay, so we're exposing a big area here and a big area on this side. We're gonna cut off the, the fins. We're gonna take the gills plate out as best as we can without cutting ourselves. Scissors definitely work better to do this. that we can put to one side. What we're trying to do is expose as much of the flesh as possible. And because we're not clipping it, we don't have to make it aerodynamic as far as tapered on the top, tapered on the bottom. We want to expose as much of the flesh as possible. So again, what we're gonna do, take our knife, and we're gonna cut thin slithers. Basically, they are almost paper thin. And it works best if your bait, your mackerel that is, is semi-frozen. Okay. We're gonna start with the small side. And we're going to take some small pieces or small cutlets of mackerel, lay it next to where the gills would be, and we start cutting in it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work around the actual head as we're doing it. And it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we go. Okay, so what we've got here is the nose piece sticking out, flesh exposed all round basically on this actual bait. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little Dacron loop, our little needle, 
Get out the way. This hard part on the top where the V actually starts over there is where we actually want to insert your needle, your bait needle, all the way through to the bottom jaw. And we just pull it out. And basically you just put that in like that. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Then what we do. Go in with our braid. Our Dacron that is. And we just start working it closer to the actual bait. And one more time. Should do it properly. And just that little tag in, I like to just trim it off a bit. And that's basically a normal throw bait that you do not clip. Okay? Just for a normal throw bait, guys. And that's it. Big bloody smelly bait. You'll catch your reggae on it. You will catch your diamonds. You will catch your um, honeycombs on that particular bait there. And that's just a simple cutlet bait. Quick and easy very bloody and it works extremely well. Mm -hmm.